Okay, the next step we're going to do is to, to put in the water, uh, the first stage of the water. Um, I wanted to remind you uh, of our bushes. Make sure that you don't get too light on these bushes at this stage. Remember with Nadine's uh, designs, we build things in stages and we go back. We don't, like, we're not finished with the sky. We're going to go back to it. We're not finished with the tower or the, the fence, the windmill or the fences or the bushes. We do, some, we do some things and we go to the next stage and we build on these stages. So I um, want to kind of look at this picture. We're going to load with um, a, let's see, what we're we going to use. We're going to um, use value 6 or 8 gray and you can even mix between them if you prefer. And uh, we're going to do this not so heavy you know kind of light you see the background still showing through so we're not going to make this so opaque at this stage we're going to uh, then create a soft shadow underneath each little wave that we do uh, with a uh, value six and three mixed together so uh, not, you know we don't want any hard lines uh, we're just going to uh, make everything kind of soft for the time being. So let's start with some extender. Okay, I'm trying to stand my picture up. We don't want it swimming. I'm noticing that I've got kind of a round area right there where it really needs to come to a point. So uh, at some point I'm going to have to fix that. Which I don't think will be too hard to do once we get over into the grassy area. Okay, working it in. I'm going to take um, a small filbert. Let's go with the DecoArt 6, or well, this is the DecoArt 8. Let's see. Here's a black gold 4. So, I think I'll start out with the, this 8 because it really is about a size 6 in another brand. So I'm going to kind of start medium and then I'll go smaller if it feels like I need to. Okay, I'm going um, to side load with uh, 6 or 8. Let's go, let's start with the 6. Okay, and then maybe just tip it into the 8. And then we're going to come over here and brush mix. Now, if you get too much over onto the other side of the brush, just pinch wipe the one side. Okay. And uh, so then I'm just going to kind of put the paint side towards the bottom of the canvas. And we'll just kind of make our waves across. We can go right over top of these pilings because we'll do more with those, those later. And we want no hard lines so I'm going to take my soft mop and just kind of blur these lines a little. Okay, now I'm going to side load into just the value 8 gray and I'm going to come back and add some light lighter areas. Need, need to put my um, 
<laughs> need to put my brush with the paint side towards the bottom of the canvas. I was doing it the opposite there a few minutes ago. Need to remember that. And if you see, I'm just kind of really kind of not using the entire surface of the brush. Putting those waves in there softly. Stroke it horizontally to follow the direction of your waves. And it'd be good to go from one side to the other without stopping. Okay, now we're going to uh, brush mix. I'm going to pinch wipe my brush. And we're going to brush mix um, six and three gray. So you see, I'm putting both of those on my brush over here and brush mix. I'm going to pinch out one side of my brush. And now I'm going to make very thin shadows under these waves. I'm going to soften those down. Using the wrong side of the brush, or it didn't have any paint on it. And what I do need to do here is bring this to a point at the gate, and then it comes out. So I will do that uh, late in, in a later stage, but we will establish that corner. Anyway, we've got some movement going. If you feel like you need to, like you've lost the lighter portion, you can come back and add, add some more. So, um, we're also, at the end of this stage, going to put a, um, a highlight on this house, the first house to the right of uh, the windmill, and we're going to put it here on the roof, and we're going to use um, medium beige and warm white. So, I'm going to load my brush. Oops, in the medium beige and then in the warm white. And let's brush mix that. I think I might need a little more warm white. There we go. And we're just going to 
come in here and highlight the roof of this house. Okay, I think I might do that uh, just a little heavier. But you are still able to see your background through there. Okay, and with that we're finished with stage one. Now in the second stage, in the second stage we're going to uh, go back and uh, add to everything that we have done to begin with. And the first part of that is we're going to add some darker shadows with raw umber. by side loading an angle shader rinse my filbert and I'm going to grab an angle shader okay I'm going to use uh, the 3 8 angle shader uh, from our deco art traditions magic brushes I'm going to wet it Now I'm going to side load it into raw umber I'm using the toe. I think I'm going to put a little extender on my palette. Because my burn uh, my raw umber, why do I keep saying burn? My raw umber has um, slightly thickened in my palette, so I'm going to add a little extender to my brush this way so that I can loosen up the paint. And I'll spray my puddle there in my palette. By using um, second stage picture three, we can see where this shading needs to go in these bushes and it, they're, it's um, kind of a diagonal shading so uh, I'm going to take my extender brush that is uh, still pretty moist with extender and, and I guess I'm going to need a little more Okay. So with my angle brush, I'm going to lay in some diagonal shadows. I'm keeping a, a soft mop or maybe even a dome blender here so that I can take off harsh edges and you don't want to line these up like little soldiers Just making them random. We're just creating some realism uh, through separation. Some can be more vertical than others, and some can just kind of go across. Okay. 
Okay, and that adds a lot more dimension to those bushes. And you can also kind of come along the bottom here and put some in. And then now that we've done that, we can come back and put some more highlights on. And we were doing that with uh, medium beige and raw umber. But we want to go lighter now. So we want to put um, more of the beige on than the umber. So I'm going to tap into the umber first, and then I'm going to tap into the the medium white. I said medium beige, but I, I think it's medium white. But um, we can put both on there. We just want to go a little lighter than we uh, had before, but we still don't want to be too light. Because we don't want to um, make it look chalky. We need to build things up. And I don't really like quite how this is stippling, so I'm using a mop to kind of uh, bring it down. Work around those shadows that you just put in. Don't go over top of them and block them out. Now, uh, we're going to go back to the sky next, so um, we're going to set the camera up differently and, and then we'll start the sky second stage. 